Hello, I'm David Finlayson, Chairman of Warren Business Consulting, a specialist learning and development organisation that helps develop the careers of young professionals in oil and gas. Today, I'd like to talk about the full cycle costs in oil and gas um, exploration and development. So, when we look at full cycle oil and development cost, we need to take into account a number of different phases of the exploration process. There is a phase of discovering the basin, that's studies, uh, choosing, um, collecting data, analysing data, deciding where you want to take out a licence um, to, to drill. So that's in the pre-award and prior to entry phase. Then there is a a phase of collecting detailed data over the prospects that you may like to drill during the um, exploration phase and during that period you're hoping to make a discovery. Uh, following the discovery there will be two to three years of uh, appraisal potentially depending on the type of play and its location onshore, offshore, shallow water, deep water, that kind of thing. Then there will be a period of development which may continue beyond the period of, of first, first production. But what we're trying to capture in full cycle F and D, full cycle finding and development costs, is the true costs of the oil discovered um, uh, at the point when you make the decision to develop the field. So instead of looking at the timing chart here, these are the kind of activities that we're trying to capture in the calculation of full cycle costs. Within the exploration phase and appraisal phase there's got to be enough cost and activity to take into account the possibility of dry holes, of finding the field, of appraising it to a, a level of certainty that makes it uh, appropriate for you to take the development decision. Um, even the pre-development studies that you do investigating options for how you might develop the field all come into F and D because only when you made the development decision and started to develop the field with its appropriate development program is when the field gets into production that's when you know what the full cycle exploration and production costs and full cycle finding and development costs are, are going to be. So when you look at um, a barrel of oil, you've got to remember, of course, the barrel is found in the context of a basin, as we've described, discussed earlier. In that basin, the government set terms, so um, for the price you get for a barrel of oil, the state is going to take its share, and um, there are going to be operating costs involved of operating the field throughout its life. But a very important element in the um, economics is the full cycle finding and development cost. You can see here that's taken out about a fifth of the value of the barrel and that's one cost that you as an explorer or a developer can control. Efficiency of exploration, efficiency of development, that's the cost that you have under your control as is the operating cost. You can't do much about the economics in the sense of the state take, other people control that and it's what's left from the oil price that determines the margin you're going to get. So in these times when you see that um, the oil price is very very low you can see the absolute critical importance of fully understanding the full cycle finding and development costs in your program. If you'd like to know more about this topic or any other topic um, in the process of exploration and production please visit our website www.warnbusinessconsulting.com and there you can find out more about our learning and development programs. Thank you.